a colleague of his who worked in the nuclear program headquarters in New Mexico sent him a letter with the pitch and asked him to take a look at it and said that he thought that Gene Roddenberry was probably looking for technical advisors. So my father looked at that and, and he met Gene Roddenberry and then later that year Gene Roddenberry sent him a letter with the original script for the first show. And that, that letter's up here. That letter's here. And then the script for the first show here. And, and most people with Star Trek know that that was never aired the way it was. Captain Kirk's original name was Captain April, which wouldn't have made it, I don't think. Well, that's one of many things that changed. If we look at the date, this letter was written in May of 1964. Right. And the date on this piece, it originated in March. 1964. Mm -hmm. So this is the original typed up pitch that Roddenberry gave to Desilu Productions because they yeah, were the first production so. company who, who produced the show. Mm -hmm. And it's full of all of these wonderful pieces of hyperbole that Star Trek fans through the years have latched onto. <laughs> the, the main one is he describes it in the opening sentences of this pitch. This is his description of what the show's going to be like to try and get funding. His tagline is it's the wagon train to the stars. Right. Which all the Star Trek fans really got and now go back and laugh about. The fans know about this. A copy of it exists and it was scanned. You can actually go online if someone's interested in reading this and find some of the blogs. But the best part about that is that the known copy is actually Gene Roddenberry's copy. Can't find one that's ever sold. I even called some other colleagues who are also Star Trek fanatics who, who work in this world and none of us have ever heard of one coming up for auction. Moving on to that, it's really telling that this is hard proof that Roddenberry really did want the science to be right. He mm -hmm. was reaching out to people like your father, who is a rocket scientist, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's even funny, um, he used in his pitch the Drake equation, which was the equation for uh, Dr. Frank Drake, which was a, an equation to come up with how many intelligent life forms might be in the universe based on planets. He didn't actually know the equation at the time, so I love the fact that your father being a scientist we have notes here. Temporary get correct formula. Mm -hmm. Posters have been made of this. They call this the second variation oh. in Star Trek world. Is that right? The real one is the first variation, and Roddenberry's made up Drake formula is the second variation. Oh. And did your father actually ever consult for the show? No. Number one, he was sort of a real stickler for science. And he knew that he would be too picky and he wouldn't let some things go by. And secondly, he really didn't think it would go anywhere. But he saved it. Yeah, he saved it. Moving on from that then, we have the letters. Now, this is getting a little bit later, September of 64. The first script from the pilot. The show didn't actually really air until 66. So we're two years before air, which is great. It ran for three years and was canceled. And it wasn't until the fans in the 70s put together these conventions and rallied mm -hmm. and really pushed the networks to bring it back that they even started looking at the series again and realized what a cult phenomenon they had on their hands. There's so much about it that's rich in, in television history that I love here. But moving into the value, at auction, we would estimate at least four to 6,000 on the document. Really? But not having another one to compare it to and not knowing how many are out there, uh -huh. it, it could go for ten to 15,000 on the deck. Oh, my stars. This is a bit more common. There were more copies of the original script. Uh -huh. Those generally sell in the two to $300 range. Uh -huh. um, a Gene Roddenberry letter, might sell in the, the hundred to hundred and fifty dollar range, but altogether as a package, it's worth far more than those little pieces split up. 